yo-yo is the hit life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here to do an update on speech therapy and spectrum stuff and what we've been going through for the last couple years. Um, I think the last video I did was um, that his speech therapist had talked about autism with us and I kind of just haven't done any updates. COVID hit and everything went virtual and uh, I just haven't done an update for a long time. So I completely forgot all of my notes at home and I was going to do this video now and I'm mad at myself for forgetting my notes. So I'm going to try to remember everything that I wanted to tell you that's happened over the last year and a half since we've done an update. Um, you probably hear Thomas in the background because little man is watching Thomas. He has grown and developed so much um, this last year and a half. So, so, so much. Um, we had an amazing speech therapist and um, her name was Katie. We also had an occupational therapist for a little bit um, and she ended up leaving to go to a different kind of job. And then right after COVID hit, we had an occupational therapist that he never met in person. He met him virtually and it just wasn't a good fit. It just didn't work out. So we dropped occupational therapy last summer and we never picked it back up. Um, occupational therapy is much more stressful, I feel like, than speech therapy for us. But anyway, um, Katie's been a, an awesome speech therapist. She was with him from the summer of 2019 to um, last, um, actually this year. Yeah, this year, earlier this year. So um, she understood Harrison. She was just really so good with him. Um, and then she ended up leaving this job, that company as well. So we have a new speech therapist and her name is Megan, Miss Megan. And she is awesome too. Um, Katie recommended her and she did a great job at pairing up her and, um, and Harrison. They're a great match. And we just added occupational therapy and we are doing both of those um, are partially in home and partially virtually. So um, it kind of flip flops because his occupational therapist is in person on Tuesdays and his speech therapist is virtual. And then on Wednesday, it's opposite. So he um, he has someone, he has his occupational therapist and his speech therapist at least once a week in person and then the other time virtual. And what's really awesome is the occupational therapist, and that's Miss Ellen, um, her and Miss Megan work together as a team to benefit Harrison. So they plan their meetings together. Um, one's virtual. Actually, on Tuesday, they're both there now that I think about it. And they work together. They they take they tag tag team on his therapy, and I just think it's just such a wonderful thing. And they really put a lot of thought and energy into his um, his care and his therapy. Okay, we're gonna name three animals that we find at the zoo. Hmm, what do you find at the zoo? Oh, a zebra. Oh, a zebra. Um, he's doing really good. He's progressed a lot. I would say the main things that we are working on now with speech and occupational, honestly, more occupational than speech, but um, the main things, the main challenges that we have right now are his food intolerance, so he's still really super picky about food, and um, he won't poop on the potty, so he's been potty trained for a long time as far as peeing goes, sorry about the lighting, it's crazy right here in the car, but he won't poop on the potty. Um, he poops in the closet. He takes all of his clothes off. He has to have an iPad or a phone and he poops in his pants. And then I have to take it out and clean his butt, um, which is not ideal when he just turned five years old last month. So it's not ideal, but we make it work. The great thing is the occupational therapist, Miss Ellen, she is super, super, um, not into but um potty training and food is like her main things like she's good at it so uh, we haven't been with her real, real long so we really haven't delved into it a lot but it's it's one of our goals to really start working on one of the overarching things we've always worked on with harrison is flexibility his meltdowns um and so that's one of the the ongoing challenges and goals that we have for speech therapy and occupational therapy is teaching him how to um, regulate. He doesn't self-regulate very well. 
And so teaching him to regulate his emotions and his outbursts and stuff. What is it? Do your do your do your thing real quick. What is it? Giraffe. Giraffe. Oh, how does he feel? Mad. What makes you mad? Not, not, not want to go. When you don't want to go somewhere? Yeah. Oh, sometimes that makes me mad when I don't want to go somewhere. But that's okay. Sometimes we have to do things we don't want to, huh? All right, let's see you smash it. Ooh, good job. He's not horrible, honestly. He has mild sensory uh, processing disorder. Um, so there's certain things that bother him, but he doesn't have major, major fits. He just gets really overwhelmed sometimes. And if something goes wrong, he does not handle it well. And so it's something we're constantly working on, constantly working on. Um, one of the things that we work on is, not work on, but one of the things that he has with sensory is he has never um, been able to go into a public restroom, any restroom other than our house, without holding his hands over his ears. And um, so what we have started doing is, I he has some wireless headphones, over the head headphones that we leave in his book bag, because he uses those when we fly and stuff. And I've started grabbing those when I go into a Walmart or somewhere where I know I'm probably gonna use the bathroom. And I put those headphones on him and he's able to go into the bathroom stall with me and not hold his hands over his ears. Because even when he has to go to the bathroom out in public, when he has to pee, I have to take his pants down. He pees. I have to take his pants back up because he won't take his hands off of his ears. So the headphones have really helped. Um, it's just part of sensory processing disorder. Like I said, I feel like his is a really mild case. There's a lot of really severe cases out there and his is pretty mild. But those are the main things that we're working on now is flexibility, continue working on his sensory issues, his potty issues, and his food issues. And so um, those are the things that we're constantly working on. He's, he's doing well though. Um, I have not labeled him and I don't plan on label him, labeling him on the spectrum. Um, is he on the spectrum? I believe he is. I believe he's very high functioning. You, you, they used to call it Asperger's, but they've not, they've done away with that title. But if I was to put him on the spectrum, it would be like an Asperger's. He's highly intelligent, highly intelligent, has amazing recall and memory, um, which a lot of Asperger's kid, kiddos do. Um, but we don't plan on labeling him unless we absolutely have to. Um, we're aware of it. We're working with therapists and, and we don't want to hinder his develop. If he develops out of this and is able to have a normal life we don't want that diagnosis hanging over his head and prohibiting him from doing everything that he can do in life so we had no plans at this point to formally diagnose him um but yeah i kind of wanted to catch you guys up and um and let you know what's going on with harrison and all of his therapy development um here is a couple of clips i'll show you some stuff that i've taken really recent of his new therapist and the things that they're doing with him good job good job Ready? Push it. Put it out here. You can press it. Good. Press, 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 press. Good job. Okay, now we have another triangle. And then, like, we're going to fold it one more time. And then press it down. Nice. That was so good, Harrison. Now what shape do we have? A triangle. A triangle. You got it. Good job. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's kind of hard to cut because it's thick paper. Ouch. You okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Let's cut up this way. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. This last piece off for us. Okay, and then we get to cut out another side. Do you want to cut out this side? No. Okay, we need both hands though. Ready? Gotta hold it with that hand. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have this hand? You help me hold it. You help me hold the paper. 
There we go. Good. Perfect. You're doing it though. Keep going. Did we get it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's take it off. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Let's open it. I'm gonna cut mine too. It's time to get diamond. Keep going. Keep opening it. Let's see. One more. Whoa! What did you make? You made a snowflake. Do you want to put your snowflake in the window? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. A lot of the things that the speech therapist works with him is on emotions and identifying emotions and talking about emotions and, and those kinds of things. And so some of the, a lot of the activities that she works with him on are about emotions. So he's super keen now on his emotions. But anyway, thanks for joining us for this video. Um, I just kind of wanted to catch everybody up, like I said. on I haven't talked about his therapy for a long time. He is still in therapy. And... Um, He's developing, he's changing, he, he's changed a lot, but we still have a lot of challenging things that we still work through and we've got the girls to help us and we're really thankful that we have them to help us because they're really, they even keep me on track and keep me, hold me accountable for the things that I know I need to do with him. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, um, the like button and subscribe if you like these kinds of videos or any of the other content that we put out, which is mostly um, family stuff, vlogs, camping, and then um, some of the stuff that we go through with Harrison and his therapy and his development. Anyway, thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. I did all the things I wanted to do. Yeah. That's my new case. And I have a pen here. Mm -hmm. So I can draw things. And I all draw on things. Look. Yeah. So you go here and wait 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 here. Right here. See, I'm tricky. See, guys, I didn't. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good, guys. Yeah.